Hey everybody, it's Ed the Old Tech Guy. Let me welcome you to my garage. My brother brought me this cool Brute, or I should say Bosch Brute cement breaker thing, and it's not working. You'll notice I've got it plugged in. I'm hitting the power. Nothing's happening. I think it's a great DIY project, and I want to take you all through how I'm going to troubleshoot this unit. So let's get started. Now, I've never worked on one of these, so the first thing I'm guessing I have to do is take these four bolts out because what I want to get to is the electronics and find out if there's something obvious. So after removing these four head bolts and the plastic cover, I find out that there's two bolts here, two bolts here, and I can't remove this cover to get into the electrical motor that you can see here. I can't get to it without removing this handle. So I'm gonna remove this guy, this bolt right here. That's a 17 millimeter. All right, that's been pretty easy so far. And now I can get to these bolts. Let me move you over here so you could get a better look. These four bolts I talked about before, let's get to those. Okay, four bolts are out. Now we gotta take this cover out and I can't seem to just do it with my hand. So we're gonna get a screwdriver and give it the old tappity tap, see what happens. The next thing I'm gonna do is, looks like this whole piece of the electric motor is being held by these wires right here, here, and here. I'm gonna disconnect those and see if I could pull this whole unit out so that I could do my testing. All right, and this has been a lot of fun. So far, I've taken off this head unit, and after inspecting it, I don't see anything obvious here. There's no big burn spots or anything that's telling me there's a big issue going on. So let's check the other piece that, that pulled out, which is this guy right here, to see if there's anything obvious. Remember, one of the things we wanted to check were the brushes, and we'll check that out in more detail. After inspecting, we find out that we've got one of the brushes that's worn down to nothing. Look at that. Can you see right through it? Look at that. Some type of ball bearing right there. Look at that. Pretty cool. So now that, that, that we've figured that out, that brush is shot. Let's look at this guy. That brush is still looking like it is making contact. But I'll bet if one brush is not making contact and the other is, it can't complete the circuit. Let's change those out and find out if that fixes our problem.
So we've gone ahead and replaced these two brushes, this brush right here and this brush right here. And you can see how they were wasted away and they've got this cool feature where as the brush wastes away, it has this, this type of stopper there so it doesn't ruin the, the rest of the motor here. Real cool stuff. Um, you got this one that's almost there and we've got the two new brushes. So let's go ahead and install it and see if it works. If it works, my friend's gonna be pretty happy. been pretty cool I've never worked on one of these it was really fun troubleshooting and trying to figure out what was going on with it 
I hope you learned something. I went ahead and completed putting everything together. It's plugged in now. And here we go. I hope it works. Everybody, please wish me the best. Here we go. First try. And whoa, that's rocking. It's working real good. It's a deafening noise for sure. So now that we've seen this unit get fixed and we've gone ahead and given it a quick little test, it'd be pretty cool to see it in action, right? Let's break some cement with it. But before you do that, you have to watch part two of this video on Jay Who's channel. You guessed it. Jay Who's going to break a bunch of cement. It'd be pretty cool, right? I'm going to leave a link to his video on the description make sure you check it out it's going to be in the bottom when you click the video click at the bottom it's going to be right there so jay who let's get ready let's break it baby <laughs> <laughs> 